We are live at Alumni Coliseum McGrath Arena for Eastern Kentucky, Western Kentucky. The Hilltoppers 2-0. Last year, they had a record of 20-14. Eastern Kentucky is 2-1. Their loss to Kentucky by a whopping 42 over at Rop Arena. Last year, they were 13-8. They were 8 and four here on their home court. Greg Stottlemyre, Doug Sally, welcoming you inside as the lights go down for the hype video and then the introduction of the starting lineups for Eastern Kentucky. Doug, as you look at this game, Western Kentucky, as we talked about in the radio pregame, loaded with three Mr. Basketballs, a first round draft pick probably, and Charles Bassey. They've used transfers, including a grad transfer that can really shoot the ball. They're loaded on both sides of the court. Offense, defense, it'll be a tall task for the home team to pull the upset tonight. It's definitely going to be a challenge for Eastern. And uh, one of the big aspects of the game that, uh, if you're an Eastern fan, hope breaks in their favor is uh, the turnover margin. Eastern's predicated, their defense is predicated on pressuring the ball and turning an opponent over. And uh, you hope, if you're an Eastern fan, that uh, you wear Western down with the press, turn them over, get some extra possessions for your offense and help you stay in the game. Now, if you're Western Kentucky, how do you handle the press? Rick Stansberry, the head coach, is a veteran. He's a Kentucky native, played at Campbellsville High School or Campbellsville University after coming out of Meade County High School, going against another Kentucky native and second year Colonel head coach, A.W. Hamilton. So what does Stansberry do to mitigate the 40 minutes of action, full court from Eastern Kentucky. The one thing that Western has, they've got four people that can handle the ball out there on the floor. Williams, although he's playing the four spot, is able to come out and bring, bring the ball up the floor. That'll alleviate some pressure for Hollingsworth, Savage, and Justice. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out, but uh, they've got the tools to handle the pressure. Uh, this depends on Eastern. If they can uh, extend that pressure and maybe wear down the opponent, that's part of the philosophy that A.W. Hamilton uses. Stansberry in year 4, 64 and 42, 17th overall. Remember, he was the head coach at Mississippi State as well. 357 and 208. This is the first college head coaching job for A.W. Hamilton, the former Marshall and Wake Forest player. He was an assistant coach for one year under Kevin Keats at North Carolina State after being an assistant to Keats at Hardgrave Military Academy, then becoming for six years the head coach. Stansberry versus Hamilton, EKU versus WKU. The ball is in the hands of the lead referee, crew chief Craig Murley, working with Shane Staggs and James Duke tonight. And we're about ready for tonight's tip off, brought to you by UK Healthcare's orthopedic surgery and sports medicine program ranked among the top 50 of the nation by U.S. News and World Report, UK Health for Orthopedic Surgery and Sports Medicine, the official team physicians for Eastern Kentucky University Athletics. Hilltoppers in the familiar red with white and black trim. Eastern Kentucky in the home white with maroon and silver trim. Hilltoppers have already defeated two teams from the OBC this year. Tennessee Tech by 12 at Austin P, 97-75. Last time they've started a season 3-0, 2008. They went to the Sweet 16 that year. Western wins the opening toss and we're underway. The ball in the hands of Tavion Hollingsworth. Playing just 25 miles down the road from where he won a state championship for Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School. Justice now with that face mask on. Oh, he got a man open for the dunk right out of the gate. Charles Bassey flushes it for a 2-0 WKU lead. Well, they had a roll and replace. Bassey rolled to the basket after the screen roll with Justice and uh, defense didn't recover and help. Here's Brown against Justice. Loses him with a crossover dribble to tie it at two from just beyond the foul line. It's going to be important that Eastern scores enough to really utilize their press. They did that time, but no problem for Western. Here's Justice. Drives on Taylor, got around him. Good help picks. Now to Bassey, elbow left. No good. Rebound Williams. Carson, one dribble, banks it back up and in. Carson Williams. The one job that King has tonight more than any other is to keep Williams off the board. Didn't do it that time. 
in the rotation, Crookshank throws it right corner, Taylor, left hander will not hit it. He was a hot and cold shooter last game in the win over Ohio Chillicothe. Tavion Hollingsworth passes up the three, medium range from 17, no good, rebound Trey King. King out to Crookshank. Crookshank to the trailing Brown, three for the lead. Bingo. All five by Jamaro Brown. Important that Easter gets off to a good start, get this big crowd involved in the game. Here's Savage, former Austin P State player in the same conference as EKU. Now Williams, who played at Northern Kentucky, beat EKU in a game up in Highland Heights a couple of years ago. Stop and go dribble, Crookshank tipped it away. As that pass was good to Hollingsworth, quick hands by Crookshank, tip steal already in three games for him. Here's Brown driving, extra step high off the window, drew a foul and got bailed out. He almost traveled if he had not traveled. He turned the corner and it got a little out of control before he got to the area where he wanted to get his shot. And like you said, he was lucky to get the call right there. Foul on Hollingsworth. Decorated with a lot of all-conference honors. Third team last year, all tournament in Conference USA. As Brown has scored all six EKU points. See, it's the first foul shot. Also on the CUSA freshman team in 2018. And this year, all-conference preseason. Jamario Brown goes one for two from the line. It's 6-4 Eastern Kentucky. One tie, one lead switch early. Western and Eastern, we play just over two minutes at Alumni Coliseum. Hollingsworth to Justice, leans his body and drives Brown. Brown gets screened out for a moment by Bassey. Now low to Bassey. Behind him is Hicks. Bassey muscles down into the paint and ties the game at six. Well, they cleared the whole side of the floor when Justice entered. He cleared out and went to the weak side. He had the whole left side of the floor to operate off the post. In the weave, Crookshank fakes the long one, comes top of the key, hand off Brown. Westerns, Justice strips it away from Brown who slips, turnover EKU, good defense, Justice. Here comes Cameron, Justice at a 6-6 game. Justice, head of the key, pull up three. He's deadly, that one won't go. Second rebound, Trey King. Trey King to Crookshank, left to right across the timeline, to the wing, nobody guards him for a 9-6 lead, no good. Rebound touch, good hustle, King saves it in to Crookshank. Gets the 6'11 player. Into the corner, Jamaru Brown, he hit it, but he was standing out of bounds. Yeah, he had that back foot right on the line. When that, the three-pointer. When that three-point line, it's new, it's come back to 22 feet, one and three-quarter inches. It gets closer to the basket down the baseline. You only have 39 inches to work in and you're seeing a lot of players step out of bounds. That would have been nine points for Brown. We're tied at six. Hollingsworth picks up the dribble. Corner, Williams, no good. Rebound, Bassey got away with a walk as he stepped the rebound. Gave it off to Justice. Justice lets fly, no good. Not a good shooting night. The foul on Savage or on Williams. Going to be on double twos. Carson Williams just up the road from Richmond and Owenton. About an hour from Owen County through Northern Kentucky where he played for John Brannon, a former EKU assistant to Travis Ford, who's now the head coach at Cincinnati. Jamaru Brown did a good job going in and getting that rebound on the defensive end. The guards will have to do that tonight for Eastern. Two ties, one lead switch. 6-6 six, six your score as we near the first four minutes play. Jamaru Brown hunting a shot from 16. No good. So now he's starting to go a bit cold on his last shot. Quickly driving Hollingsworth, finds Savage in the corner, good for a three-point Hilltopper lead on her second lead switch. And Savage loves to hunt that three out of the left corner. One, 192nd three in his career at two schools. Only his third of the year, though, Doug. He's capable, though. Here's Crookshank. Stop and go dribble, drives into trouble. Not what A.W. Hamilton wants. It'll be easy for Hollingsworth at the cup, but a silly foul on his number made in 11 in Brown. There was no way he was going to stop him. And Eastern Kentucky sees what could have been a three-point lead dwarf into a five-point deficit at 11 to six time out on the court at 15-42. Colonel basketball from Learfield, IMG College. Hilltoppers 5 of 10, just 1 of 4 from 3. EKU 2 of 5, but they've made 3 turnovers in 4s. Only 1 by WKU. 
Eastern Kentucky rolled to a 6-4 lead since then. Western Kentucky seven in a row and Hollingsworth trying to make it eight. He's at 1,030 points, one of three players to get to 1,000 in his first game of his junior year. The others, Courtney Lee still playing in the NBA and Bobby Roscoe from way back in the glory days at Western. And there's another steal, but Crookshank got it back, tipped away again. He wants a timeout and gets it. Crookshank has been a little discombobulated at times, Doug, offensively. Again, EKU playing without Houston King for the second game in a row with a sore, bruised knee just above the kneecap. Fell hard in the Kentucky game. Jack West Hobbs has kind of injured a right shoulder. He could go tonight. We'll see how A.W. Hamilton rolls the rotation here against a Western Kentucky team that goes about seven, maybe eight deep. They are not a deep team. They play guys 30-plus minutes all across their starting five. Yeah, and Hobbs came in at the last dead ball there for uh, Taylor, so he's in the lineup tonight. And uh, that'll give Eastern another ball handler to utilize against the pressure. Justice has made a couple of uh, either one steal and one near steal, gambling a little bit defensively. Cameron Justice out of Hyman, Kentucky. Three times in the state tournament here, the one-class system that still lives in Kentucky. Trey King, pump fake, beat it low to Hicks. Against Bassey, fakes him, rejected. Well, Savage came from a weak side, and Bassey walled up. And when Hicks went up to shoot, Savage was there for the rejection. Yeah, so Savage actually got it. That's his fourth block. He actually leads the team. Bassey has three on the year. Jared Savage, who won a game in here, three seasons ago. Trouble getting it in, and EKU burns another timeout. Rick Stansberry getting right in the way of Crookshank, the player. He wanted a five-second call. Rick was doing a little dance on the sidelines over there. Yeah, he still can move for his age. <laughs> uh, you go way back with Rick Stansberry, his great uncle Edgar Stansberry, in the Western Kentucky Hall of Fame back in 1944. He played basketball, baseball, and football, was even athletics director for a year. You know, Stansberry was a player at Campbellsville University when Maria College was coached by former EKU player Roland Wearily. Big rivalry. And Stansberry's team, he was a player then beat Berea College 98-86 in the last week of the regular season. They went into the small college KIAC tournament. Berea stalled at Campbellsville and won the game 8-7. Here's on the inbounds a kick by Carson Will Williams. You just feel Western Kentucky's defense getting better and better at EKU cannot find cracks offensively living on Jamaru Brown's offense early. Well, it was a kick ball, so I think they're discussing the shot clock here. Stansberry's got an arm around one of the officials, making a point. Verbal signals to his team. Here comes Brown spinning, getting loose, shooting over Bassey. Pretty by Jamario Brown. He's been their only offense. He has all eight of their points. 12-8 WKU stops the 8-0 run. Savage a trifecta, you betcha. Savage has a pair, one out of the left quarter. This one off the left wing of the Hilltoppers by seven. And a double dribble by Brown. I'm seeing the same problems I saw at Kentucky. Not as big, but rushing things offensively. Guards getting anxious. What are you seeing? Well, Jamaru thought he had a little piece of his arm taken right there on the dribble, and he kind of lost control and put his other hand on the ball, double dribble. That is four turnovers on EKU, quadruple what Western Kentucky has made. Good defense by Hobbs and King, trapping Justice near corner. Out of bounds, Hilltoppers, 14-45, first half. Western Kentucky leads 15-8. They've already defeated Tennessee Tech at Austin P of the OVC. It's like they're back in the conference for a moment. They have Belmont later this year. Last year, Western Kentucky was 2-1 and one against the OBC, beating Tennessee Martin by 15, TSU by 14. They got beat by Belmont by six. Lachlan Anderson into the EKU lineup. Hollingsworth leaves. First time we see Josh Anderson, a very athletic 
guard. Savage, catch, shoot, miss this one. Anderson just in. Rebound for the Australian. 15-8, Western. Brown, crossover dribble, too quick to stop. He gets fouled. Who are they going to call it on? Going to be a reach. Bassey. So Bassey leaped off his feet. Brown hung in the air. He'll go to the line for two, where he's one of two today. He has eight points. He has all eight of EKU's points. 15-8 WKU. Brown hits. So Jamaru Brown averaging 13.7 this year, looking for his 28th double-figure game as a colonel in 35 games. The sophomore from Raleigh rolls that one around and siphons down for another point. 15-10, WKU. Crookshank believes. Ty Taylor back in. So Hobbs will now run the point for the home team. Full court pressure, but Western has had no problem with it. Throw over the defense into the corner to Justice. Taylor strips it off his body. Turnover. It'll go Eastern Kentucky's way. That was were nice quick hands by the grad student. Out of UNC Wilmington, Ty Taylor causes the turnover. Good slap down, went off of Justice's knee on the way up. So again, Armstrong, Anderson, I should say, in for Western. And they're going to bring in the local kid from Richmond, Isaiah Cozart. Next break, Hicks misses from 10. Anderson keeps it alive and tipped it, and it went off a hilltopper. Rawls has been in the lineup here last couple possessions for Western. Here comes Isaiah Cozart in for Bassey. Yeah, Miss Jordan Rawls in there. Good catch out of Chattanooga. So Isaiah Cozart, who played here in Richmond at Madison Central High School, all-time leading shot blocker in Kentucky. His dad played at Eastern Kentucky, sat the bench mostly, but was on the team for two years. Brown deep three, no good. That was a deep one from 25 feet. The Hilltoppers clean the boards, leading 15-10. Right side, Savage. Savage brings it up top to Jordan Rawls. 6'1", freshman guard from Chattanooga. Back to Savage. Penetrates the paint. Comes to a jump stop. In trouble. Got it back to Anderson. His three clanks hard off the backboard. And we're going to call a foul on the court on Lachlan Anderson as he pushed into the back of the Hilltopper that was going up for the rebound. Second foul on EKU. Western Kentucky called with three. Justice and Savage go out for Western. Hollingsworth and Williams back into the lineup. So they have three subs on the court in Rawls, Anderson, and Cozart now. That's about as deep as they go. Slip it through the lane. Anderson got beat, but the shot by Williams across the back lands right to left. EKU the rebound. 15-10 WKU. Hooking a pass over to Anderson. Anderson drains the three. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie out of Sydney. Two-point game. They beat the pressure. Down the lane goes Rawls. Knocks down a colonel. Blocking foul inside the restricted area. Trey King. Yeah. I understand why they have that rule. I hate it. Charge is a charge. Yeah. Do, you, do you agree or do you like it? Do you think it I, I like the rule because so many people camp out under the basket. There you go. And uh, take cheap charges the way it used to be anyway. Yeah. You know more than I do about this game, so yeah. I think you're right. I rescind. Can I rescind that comment? You may. Uh, I was going to say Anderson is so dangerous in the open court. He's a stud athlete, high flyer, rim runner, and uh, – he is, uh, like you said, he's re been replaced in the starting lineup this year. So he's got a good background and strong experience. And a foul shot miss, his first miss of seven attempts this year. He wears the same number as the great Clarence Glover from 1969 to 71 when Western Kentucky went to that final four down at the Astrodome. 16-13 right. Western, seven minutes in. They lead by three, Eastern in the wave. Hobbs penetrates, slips it through the defense. Got it into the corner to Brown, and Jamaro checks it home from the corner. Boy, is he hot. He has 13 points of Eastern Kentucky, 16, and we are tied for the third time. Here's Anderson with a steal. Anderson gets it up to Taylor. Taylor shot rejected on a high riser by Anderson. 
Rip and run we go. Here comes Hollingsworth. Dips under a curtain. Layup miss. Rebound put back up. Hollingsworth. He missed it again. Bassey tips it into the corner. EKU basketball with a 16 all game. This thing is beginning to get the feel of the old OVC days where Eastern and Western went head to head twice a year. And I love it. This crowd is getting into the game too. Crowd near capacity at AC. Just a little less than when John ja Morant was in here last year for Murray State. Now with the Memphis Grizzlies. But a good crowd. Hand off to Taylor. Drive the paint. Feed it corner Anderson. Trifecta for the lead. Great kick out. Eastern's had two really nice assists on their last two three-pointers. Eastern Kentucky has scored 11 of the last 12. Steal Brown. Brown dropped the ball, got it back. He's in trouble. Turn, shoots, hits. 15 for Jamaro Brown. The press is starting to take effect here with this lineup in. 13 of 14. Eastern Kentucky, who's going to break it? Williams dropped the ball. Turnover again for the Hillcoppers. They're sixth. Here comes Hobbs hunting, pulling up for a three. Front rim, no, that would have brought the house down. Yeah, a little quick right there. He's filming it. 21% three-point shooter. But Eastern Kentucky on points off turnovers beginning to have an impact, even though the stat sheet says only 3-3. Three, three. Western getting empty trips. They're down five. They were up seven. Deep three, Hollingsworth tried to hush the crowd. Can't run down by Cozart. Cozart feeds a low to Williams, muscling in on Anderson. Bangs into King and puts it around the rim and out. Anderson the rebound. A.W. Hamilton running down the sidelines, wanting his team to run, and Brown runs right into a turnover with sloppy ball handling. The steal by Anderson. No time to breathe in this one. Hollingsworth pump fake, shoots out of the corner and got it. A two-pointer from 18 on the baseline. Well, the pace is where Eastern wants it, though. They want this game up and down. And they've got it Western into that type of uh, a game right now. So 13 of 14 by Eastern Kentucky. Brown, high riser over Cozart. Cozart the rebound. It was Hobbs. It was Hobbs. Hollingsworth to cut the lead back to three. 10-10 in the first half. We played almost two minutes beyond the under-12 timeout. Here's Rawls in the near corner. Anderson is given the Colonels a lift. Rawls picks up the dribble. Got it right back. Shoots with eight on the shot clock. Got it, and we're tied at 21 in a rip-and-roar game. Eastern got caught on the mismatch inside, and when Anderson left to go down and help double-team and give Hobbs some help, that left his man open. Four ties, three lead switches. Tied at 21. We play 220. Pass the timeout. Here's Taylor. Fouled by Hollingsworth, his second. Hollingsworth didn't like the call. Taylor gets dumped to the court, and he'll be at the line when we return. 9.38, first half. Six of the eight players that have played for Western Kentucky have scored. Eastern Kentucky has played seven players and only two have scored. 15 by Brown, pair of threes by Anderson for six. Brown's line, five of seven from the field, two of three on threes, three of four from the foul line, a steal, but four turnovers. Ty Taylor to the foul line, and it is good for his first point. Michael Moreno. The freshman from Scott County, same high school as A.W. Hamilton in. Taylor, a good foul shooter, 83% in his college career, misses the second. Bassey and Savage back in for Western. Western had scored five in a row. Here's a deep three. Savage, no good. Rebound Hicks, who returns for Eastern to Crookshank, who has come back to the lineup. Moreno Taylor, Brown gets an illegal screen by Anderson. Those kind of turnovers just kill you. Not set on the uh, exchange there at the top. Kind of shrugged his shoulder, knew it. His second foul of 9-18. The other one trying to get a defensive rebound. 22-21 Eastern Kentucky. They bring it down the near sidelines past us. Anderson to Savage. Back to Anderson. A starter last year out of Baton Rouge. Drives Anderson. Has to play smart with two fouls. Now Rawls. Rawls. Hicks helps Crookshank. Top to Savage, throws it down inside. 
to Bassey. He goes over Hicks and lays it in for a sixth point. Lead switch number four. We've had four ties. Western 23-22 lead. Baseline Hicks got bumped by Bassey in the second foul on Bassey. So now Hollingsworth and Bassey, both with two fouls. This one coming at 841. Anderson out. Trey King, who he replaced, back in for him. Well, Western goes 2-3 out of bounds on the end line. And they just shuffled Williams back into the lineup to protect him. Looks like he's going to be playing the middle spot of the zone. So they go much smaller with the 6-11 Charles Bassey out. Inbounds at EKU, dribbles it out of bounds on the inbounds. Tried to slip it inside, and Crookshank taps his jersey, the eastern part above the number. Says my fault, and it was. Seven turnovers for Eastern now. Six by Western. Justice playing with a face mask. Back in. He was Horizon team's second team. Second team Horizon last year at Northern Kentucky. Now a grand transfer at Western. A Justice uh, played at IUPUI, not Northern. Started at Vanderbilt, five of the shot clock. Drive left of the lane, no good by Savage. Rebound Hicks to Taylor. One point Western lead, 8.07 first half. Give and go to Hicks, bad pass by Taylor. Left his feet, anticipation steal. Anderson, corner Justice, let fly, miss it. Tip, nice position, Savage, one hand tip in. And the former governor from Austin P out of Warren Central High School in the hometown of Western has eight. Not enough white jerseys in the rent lane right there. A 9-1 Western Kentucky run to answer. And another quick three by Trey King. Rebound Moreno, but they're going to call it on Moreno. That's five team fouls for Eastern, five team fouls for Western. A.W. Hamilton says that's a bad call to one of the officials, making his point before the timeout. 7.39 first half, 25-21 Western Kentucky. Turtle basketball from Learfield IMG College. Eight turnovers, EKU, six Western Kentucky. Hilltopper shooting 39%, EKU 44%. 25-21 Western there on a 9-1 run, 2-2-1. Three-quarter court pressure, Eastern Kentucky. Rawls playing point down that Hollingsworth's on the bench with two fouls. So the pressure on the freshman from Chattanooga. His dad, Keith, played at Austin P in the late 80s when Stansberry was an assistant coach there. Driving in, Rawls rejected by Trey King. Stays on the court, picked up by Hicks. Brown pushing pace, nice give off to Moreno for the layup. Great. Two on one break there. Brown gave it to him at the perfect time. 25 24. Westerns lead down to one. Deep three. Left corner. Savage no good. Trey King backs away. Brown saves it in, but was out of bounds. Greg Murley right on top of it for the call. The crew chief tonight working with Shane Staggs and James Duke. Well, these two teams still play. Teams from the opponents conference. Eastern at Marshall on. December 19th, Western and Belmont and Bowling Green on December 28th. On the inbounds, Justice. Looked like Brown got his mask. Justice gets it back on, finds Anderson, readjusts the face max, does Cameron Justice. Now Rawls, good defense, Crookshank, the junior college transfer, and he hand checked him. Yep, can't go up and pat him down, and that's what Crookshank did, his first. Team six compared to five on WKU. 6.40 first half at a tight one at Alumni Coliseum at Richmond before Eastern and Western for the 159th time. Western with five offensive rebounds so far. These kind of helped their percentage. These two teams, both charter members of the Ohio Valley Conference when it was founded in 1949. Here's a drive and a beautiful bank off the window for two by Jordan Rawls. That was impressive. That's why that backboard's up there, and he used it to a very good angle, and it fell through for a three-point hilltopper lead. Moreno a three to tie, no good. You were over at practice yesterday. He was dropping them all in. Not that time. Anderson speeds in on King, missed the layup, and a late whistle on Trey King as he was backing away. And A.W. Hamilton has already made a point to that official, just kind of. Bit his lip that time. Trey King didn't like the call on King, 
That will be foul number two at 6.09 of the first half. Well, Anderson's really effective going to the rim. King thought he had his body walled up there as, as he went to uh, defend, but the referee didn't see it that way. First foul shot of two for Anderson. Good and Western after they fell down. 21-16 has scored 12 of the last 15, and the Hilltoppers back up four, 28-24. Anderson got them both. He's three of four from the line, nine of ten on the year. So Western Kentucky has reasserted itself from five down to five up. On the 13-2 run to answer a 13-1 Eastern Kentucky run that got this crowd into it. But now Western back by five. Seven their biggest. Brown lost the dribble. He's had trouble. Holding on to the dribble down to seven to shoot. He wants to go one-on-one. -on -one. He does. Drives. Rejected. Bad one-on-one -on -one play there. It was all one man. Now Savage. Challenged by Hicks. Jump ball. Possession arrow EKU. Hicks went up with a jump. Savage didn't like the call. And it will be EKU basketball on the turnover by Western. Their seventh. Fair to nine on Eastern Kentucky. Colonels have gone scoreless for a minute 57. And the Hilltoppers on that 13-3 run. Head of the key, Anderson back in. He drives. Savage stripped the ball. He got it back, and Savage came back and fouled him on the second attempt. Savage's hands very quick. Played two years at Austin P. Averaged eight points, three and a half rebounds on that Miracle run from the eighth seed in the OBC tournament to the NCAA. So they won the tournament as the eighth seed in Nashville and went his freshman year. And Dave loses next to last year. Down at Austin B. Transfers back to his hometown of Bowling Green as Anderson with seven. His dad, Mark, here for about two and a half weeks over from Sydney, Australia to watch his senior son. And Anderson's second foul shot high off the backboard, almost the top of it. So he goes one for two, and it's 29-25 WKU. So we near the five at a mark of the first half. Justice feeds it down low to Williams, backing in on Hicks. Gives it off to Rawls, who floats, banks, and scores. Well, that's twice he's gone in there, kind of out of control, ortho unorthodox, but great use of the board. Biggest lead of the night was seven. They're at up by six now. Crookshank comes to a stop and traveled with a basketball. Not been a good night for Richard Crookshank handling the basketball. One assist, two turnovers, and EKU with ten. Five by Brown, two by Crookshank. Here comes Jacquez Hobbs back into the Colonel lineup as Western Kentucky has reasserted control. From five down, now six up, and they've turned over EKU 10 times. Eastern Kentucky made 24 in their season opener, a win by 11 over Chattanooga. Hurdles run a double at Rawls. Williams drives around a hurdle. Ty Taylor falls down, and the basket scored, and A.W. Hamilton upset. Now, wait, do we have a technical here? No, I think they're calling a flop. That's a new rule this year. A flop on Taylor. Okay. So a flop rule, that new rule. Explain that, Doug. Well, uh, I think they get a warning the first time. Williams gets the basket. Biggest lead of the night to the visitors. Western Kentucky, 33-25. They've been on a 17-4 spur to answer a 13-1 Colonel run. Here's Brown, who scored 15 of the team's first 19. Step back, tough 17. Footer sack it again. 17 for Jamaru Brown of the Colonel's 27. Eastern running, backward pressure. Anderson across the timeline. He goes around a Colonel and a blocking foul on a Colonel. 3.58 in the first half. Crowd didn't like the call. 33-27 Hilltoppers and shots coming as A.W. Hamilton shakes his head. Doesn't like about the fourth call by the one official he makes a point to right now. We'll take a break with them. 33-27 Western. Colonel 
Western Kentucky has extended its lead to six. It got as high as eight before Jamaru Brown field goal. Then a foul called on Ty Taylor. And Anderson, who has really played well off the bench, has lived at the line. All four of his points from the charity stripe. He's four of five after missing his first. Second one no good. Hicks the rebound for Eastern Kentucky. 45% shooting Hilltoppers, 43 EKU. Western only 3 of 12 from 3. EKU 4 of 10. Brown to Anderson. Anderson drives, got loose, dunks it. Wow. We don't see that much from the Aussie. He went up kangaroo and that one down. Well, I'll tell you, he is, uh, he's really been a spark for Eastern off the bench tonight. What a play. Savage goes behind the bench there. Not sure why. As they check him on the training table. 16 dunks by Anderson, and it's down to a five-point game. 34-29, three and a half in the first half. Hobbs and Taylor had, a, and there's a block by Hicks. Same officials made the call again. Well, that looked clean on top. There may have been a little body there, but it pretty, pretty much capped on the way up. Crowd really on the one official who made the call on Hicks. A.W. Hamilton stuffs his hands in his pockets and a wry, sarcastic smile across the court. And it's 35-29. 19,000 Eastern. Western will be in the double bonus after this. So the foul on Hicks is his first. Williams gets both, he has six. 36-29, toppers by seven. And a bad pass by Brown, great anticipation, and a one-handed jam by Josh Anderson for his fourth, his first field goal of the night, and the biggest lead for the Hilltoppers by nine. Eastern in that horn set, Anderson was waiting on that entry pass. He just sitting on it. Boy, Anderson off the bench tonight. Starter last year's been tremendous. Quick shooting, Taylor. And that was one and done, and a heartbeat rolling off the screen. Western looking to extend to double figures for the first time tonight. Anderson feeling it. Back to Rawls, three for the guy wearing number three. Counted. Seven by Rawls. Boy, he's come up big for Western off the bench. Really made some nice plays. 41-29, Western by a dozen, and Brown trouble handling it again. Tough three, airballed it. Eastern Kentucky out of control offensively right now. Settled down as he comes off the bench and mouse to his team. A.W. Hamilton saw his team on a 13-1 run. Go up 21-16. They're now down 41-29 on a 25-8 WKU run. Looking for more out of the corner. Gambrell, and he hit it, and Western's on a roll. And A.W. Hamilton has to burn a timeout. Gambrell's only a freshman. He's a freshman red shirt and uh, only averaging two and a half minutes a game. So Gambrell forces EKU into timeout. He's out of Houston. He had multiple stress fractures in his leg last year. Played just four games and got the red shirt. Out of Madison High School down in Houston. And what about the Hilltoppers? Like that, they went up on a 10-0 run. Part of a 28-8 run from 21-16 down. And now they lead 44-29. And Doug, it happened in a flash. The Hilltoppers running, forcing the Colonels into mistakes. And you can't discount the fact that one official has drawn the ire of the EKU crowd here and the head coach. The 50-50 calls have been falling on the one official, the basketball of his hand now. And you got to play through that. You got to play the game. You can't worry about the human part of officiating a tough game. Right. And, and Lester's been able to do this with Bassey and Hollingsworth on the bench. Yeah. So that's really scary if you're an Eastern fan. Well, before and before the last full timeout, the crowd was introduced to 
a Curdle starter for four years. Dave Buchek for Michigan City, Indiana, average 19.7 and 11 rebounds his first year. Part of that team that won its last regular season championship in the OVC in 1979, beat Western in that controversial game as Hicks gets an entry pass and dunks for the fourth time this year. His first two points stops a 10-0 topper run, 44-31. Here comes Justice around Brown. alley -oop having to go down to get it is Williams. And Craig Murley says a foul on a Kirtle. And it was a push on Hicks. So Hicks with his second foul. Eastern piling up the fouls, especially for their inside players. Hicks with two, Anderson two, and Trey King with two. Ten fouls at EKU, six of the Hilltoppers. Three Kirtles with two fouls. And those two Hilltoppers you mentioned, two of their stars on the bench, and they made the run without them. At a 45 until halftime as Williams hits the foul shot. Savage, by the way, has gone to the EKU or to the WKU locker room now after being on the training table behind his bench. 6'5 redshirt senior. Williams hit the first, misses the second. Williams has seven tonight in a balance. Still topper scoring sheet. 8, 5, 7, 6, 10. Six and three, everybody but Cosart and Justice have scored, and Justice is their leading scorer. Brown wing three, way off. I mean, he has not even drawn iron his last two threes. Brown has taken 12 shots tonight. Well, Western's going to two, three zone there without much size in the lineup. 45-31, WKU, a 28 to eight run. Justice falls down, slides to a stop, and he got a timeout to avoid a turnover as EKU enclosed him in a double team near half court. It'll be a 30 second timeout to Western Kentucky. Well, it is a game of huge runs. EKU led early 6-4. Western scored seven unanswered. They were up 15-8. Eastern Kentucky scored 13 of the next 14 points to take a 21-15 lead but then Western Kentucky went on a 28-8 run, including 10 in a row at the end of that blow away. They went up by 15, 44-29, and it's 45-31 right now. Well, points in the paint, Western's up 10 to 20, and uh, points off turnovers, which usually is in favor of Eastern with their press, but Western's on top of that statistic, 15 to 7, Eastern with the 11 turnovers. Points off turnovers, 15-7 Western Kentucky advantage. And six of them by Jamaro Brown after making nine at Rupp Arena. It's been the part of this game he's got to work on. Well, he's been tremendous in scoring tonight. Down to five of the shot clock. Gambrell misses the three, long kicking rebound, run down Anderson. He puts on the brakes to the trailing Hobbs. 50 seconds first half, Western by 14. Now Anderson back to Hobbs to the baseline. Flings it out to Brown who drives in. Got a round two, foul by Anderson, bucket by Brown. 19 by Jamaru Brown. Such a good driver to the basket, Doug. Yeah, he was able to change that ball up in the air and avoid the block, still get the contact and finish. Western staying with that 2-3 zone. 45-33, Western Kentucky by a dozen. EKU scored the last three, Brown makes it the last four, and he's to 20 points for the second time tonight. Hamilton inserts Moreno back in the lineup to protect Hicks with those two fouls. Correction, second time this year. He had 22, last game out at home with an easy win by 86 over Ohio Chillicothe. 11-point game, a little spurt here by EKU at the end of the first half. Anderson playing with two fouls and Hobbs in a trap, but out to Justice, and now Rick Stansberry's team holding, and a walk in the center circle on guarded by Rao. Rawls. Coach Stansberry was trying to uh, direct his team and call out a play. Rawls looked over to the bench and just lost his train of thought, changed his pivot foot. Eight turnovers on the red and white, 11 on the maroon and white, and here comes EKU. Chance here, Doug, they were down by 15 to get it down to single digits. Shot clock on vacation. 
18 to go, and here's Brown, who has 20 in the first half. Remember, Nick Mayo had 40. Now playing in Japan, the all-time leading scorer last year. Down to seven. Here comes Brown to engage. Head of the key. Pulls up. Nothing there. Finds a shot. Air balls his third of the night. Picked up by Hobbs. Blocked at the end of the first half. We're at the end of half one. And Hicks and Anderson have some words for each other. And the two teams separate, and they'll head to the locker room in a typical... Yeah, they're not in the same conference, Doug, but this is a rivalry. Nevertheless, the Battle of the Bluegrass, 45-34 Hilltoppers. We'll be back with our halftime programming after this. This is Curdle Basketball. style but offensively we just had too many turnovers that allowed them to get some easy baskets that then led to their players kind of feeling good and hitting some tough shots they had some great minutes from some of their role players with passing hauling the worst being out and uh you know we gotta we gotta turn them over more we gotta get them uh in traps and pressure and then on the offensive end we gotta take care of the ball does it need to go inside out more i mean were we relying on 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 the perimeter too much without looking inside. Right, right. We're playing east to west. We got, we got to get, touch the paint. We got to get, get in, make their defense collapse. It's, uh, and and they, they've been switching our handoffs, and our guards just haven't done a good enough job recognizing that and uh, taking advantage of it. But uh, hopefully, we'll do that here this half. You got it for a little bit. I mean, it got rolling there for a little bit. 13-1 run, and then they came right back on you. A couple tough calls there that I know incensed the head coach, and, and things got away from me. But then right. a nice end there at the first half. No, absolutely. And we knew going into this game, it, it was going to be a 40-minute game. We told our guys, don't worry about the score in the, the first half. If we play our brand of basketball for 40 minutes, uh, we like our depth, and we, we like our chances. Thanks, Patrick. Thanks. All right, Patrick Blake with uh, the scout tonight on the Hilltoppers. And he gives us our out of the locker room report as Eastern Kentucky and Western Kentucky are halfway through this one. 45 34 WKU. Not a real surprise. The score is up there 
at halftime because Western averages 86 and a half through two games. EKU 85.7. They were held to 49 by Kentucky, then put 129 on the board by against Ohio Chillicothe. So it kind of counterbalanced each other after scoring a win over Chattanooga to begin the season, 79 to 68. Up next, Eastern Kentucky, its other non-D1 game. Alice Lloyd on Tuesday here at this Coliseum at 7. Western goes down to the Paradise Jam in the Virgin Islands, and they'll begin that three-game event over four days against Bowling Green State. That was a tournament that Eastern Kentucky was in last year, losing to Kansas State, a tight one to Northern Iowa, and beating Kennesaw State. Great tournament down in the Virgin Islands. EKU for a Friday-Saturday event in the battle for the capital in Washington, D.C. A.W. Hamilton has put the suit coat back on. He had a smile and a talk with Shane Staggs, the official he was upset with repeatedly in the first half. Your crew chief, Craig Murley, bounces the ball to Anderson. Second half takeout underway in the Hilltoppers. In red uniforms, working left to right to the horseshoe end in front of the Colonel Band and student section. Throw down to Williams, nice move inside, picked up the pivot foot, making the low post move. And turnover number nine on the tops compared to 11 on Eastern Kentucky. Both teams with their starting lineups except Anderson in for Savage for Western. Savage went to the locker room in the first half. And Anderson's played really well tonight yeah, with that's, five points. That's why he's in there. He's guarding uh, Jamaru Brown. Six points instead. Inside move and a bucket for the Colonels. Really nice finish with Hicks high over Bassey for the two. Only four points for him. Anderson, I said five, he's had six points in the first half. So Eastern Kentucky, after they fell down 15, has gone on a 4-0 run at the end of the first half. Two more to begin the second half and back to a single-digit game. 45-36 to 36 now, and on the sidelines, another turnover by WKU. Josh Anderson running out of room here near side in front of the rich seats and will work the other way for Eastern Kentucky down 45 to 36. Great ball pressure there by Jamaru Brown to force that turnover. Eastern Kentucky trailing by nine. Brown a three. Got it. 23 for Brown. His career high, 31 in the last game. The heartbreaking loss to Moorhead State at the end of Nick Mayo's career. And with that miss, and here's a near steal, but then King runs over Anderson and fouls him. And a costly third foul on Trey King coming at the 18-45 mark of the game. But after the Colonels of EKU fell down 44-25, they've made a run of it here, a 10-1 run in a game that has been nothing but runs. Coach Hamilton leaves Trey King in with those three fouls. Bassey has returned to the lineup. Oh, he was wide open, the 6-11 player. Down in the paint, they didn't get it to him. Now here's Williams working down in King, over King, missed it. Anderson follow rebound, dump it to Bassey for the jam. Eight for the kid from Lagos, Nigeria. And Western went right at Trey King trying to draw that fourth foul, and then they left the basket wide open on the offensive rebound. Eight point lead for WKU. Hicks, the North Carolina State transfer into Bassey, nothing there, over to Taylor, left flat three, no good. Not been a good shooting night for Ty Taylor, 0 for 4, 0 for 2 from deep. After pounding home a bunch of them the other night. Another alley-oop to Williams. King leaves his feet, has to back away, and Williams with a good head pump, and he has nine. At 21, when Northern Kentucky beat Eastern Kentucky up in Highland Heights a couple of years ago. Back to a 10-point game, give and go to Hicks around Bassey, rolled it across the lip of the rim. A.W. Hamilton wanted a foul call, didn't get it. He screams at Craig Murley coming up court. Good defense by Bassey there. Brown tries to go after Hollingsworth, got it off to Anderson, starting for Savage. Feed a low to Bassey, shoot over Hicks, bank it in. Yeah, that's like taking candy from the baby there. If he gets that much space in that deep a position, Six in a row by the Hilltoppers to answer a 6-0 Colonel run and a 10-1 run overall. 51-39 Western, 17-footer. Brown right side, 25 for Jamaru Brown. He's been the Colonel's offense tonight. 10-point Hilltopper lead. We go under 17 minutes 
in meeting number 159 between these two teams. Hollingsworth, Mr. Basketball from Lexington, nearby up the road a half hour, and another pivot foot leaving the court early on Carson Williams, his second of this half. Rick Stansberry, former Mississippi State coach, now the head coach at Western. He's been to six NITs as a coach, five at Mississippi State, one at Western when they went all the way to the semifinals before losing to Utah. That was just two seasons ago. They have their aspirations higher this year. Here's Hicks into Bassey at a charge on Hicks. Lowered the shoulder, the official says. So on Hicks, his third foul. So now Hicks and King with over 16 minutes to play, the two big guys for Eastern Kentucky. In trouble of fouling out. Inside to Williams. Good move around. Hicks. Boy, he faked up and then went to the baseline and put it in. Well, same situation there. Hicks has to back off with his foul trouble. And uh, Western is going right at the big, big guys for Eastern. Here's Crookshank to Hobbs. Hobbs lowers the shoulder, drives, handoff Taylor. Taylor got away with a double dribble back to Crookshank. Crookshank into the lane, stripped. Another turnover, EKU. Their 13th of the night. Anderson the other way hit the bottom of the rim at a Colonel foul team as he went to the goal. I believe it's going to be on Hobbs. Timeout on the court, 15.44 to go. Western by a dozen on the road in Richmond tonight. Colonel basketball from Learfield IMG College. Day to learn more. At the uh, late, as we said in the first half, we've had four ties, four lead switches. Anderson to the line. I had misidentified at the end of that play. It was not Jacquez Hobbs, Ty Taylor with the reach and foul. Jamario Brown had been on the EKU bench, getting stretched out behind the bench. He's back, swigging water from the water bottle and waiting to come back in as Anderson, who's been big off the bench, has seven. All but one field goal, everything else from the foul line. As Western Kentucky has forced three fouls at EKU, hadn't committed one. And we told you that's one thing that Western Kentucky does. Last year, they took 742 more foul shots than their opponents. Now that's a 742 in Rick Stansberry's four years now, 106 games. Seven a game more than their opponents and 13 more than their opponents this year. And they've now taken 13 foul shots, EKU nine, and they have committed fewer fouls. Anderson a three off the wing, no good, but on the outlet, a steal by Hicks. Now Brown drives in, shot no. Anderson tips no. Hicks cleans it up and dunks it. Six points, four of his points off dunks, 10 point game. Make it a, yeah, it's a 12 point game. 55 43. Bassey the other way from Williams. And with EKU in foul trouble, it's feast time in the paint for the Hilltoppers. With that long pass beat uh, Eastern's defense right there. It was two on one. Fouls have almost been double on EKU, 13 to seven. Only seven fouls called on the Hilltoppers here on the road tonight. Here's Brown back in the game with 25 points. A lot of dribbling, trying to find space against Anderson at 6-6. Down on the baseline with five to shoot to Hicks. Ball the way 15 footer, no good. And you get this feeling that Western could put the clamps on this one here. Well, you'd like to see Hicks go right at Bassey there and see if he can draw his third foul. Cameron Justice gives it off between the rings to Hollingsworth. Chest pass to Justice. Anderson went for a gamble. Williams down the lane, charge. And the Curdles get a charge there. Hicks took it. Rick Stansberry trying to claim that he was in the restricted area, but uh, not going to get that call. Well, Eastern finally gets one of those close calls to go their way. Second foul on Williams out of Owenton, Kentucky. Owen County High School, Mr. Basketball, 2016. Criminology major. Was on that Norse team. Went to the NCAA and played Kentucky in 2017 for John Brannon. 
Here's Hobbs, stop and go dribble against Justice. Fed it to the wrong team as he got trapped inside, threw it to the foul line, stolen Hollingsworth. 15th turnover, Hollingsworth misses. Rebound run down by Hobbs. 15 turnovers, EKU, 12 Western. Points off turnovers, 19-12 Western advantage, and here comes another turnover. On a drive to the paint, and then tried to feed it to the corner. Jamaro Brown of Eastern Kentucky is going to be a competitor in the OBC this year, Doug. They're going to have to clean up this turnover mess. You're exactly right. Last two possessions, Eastern going in out of control, nowhere to go, and got hung out to drive both times. Last year, they committed 14 and a half turnovers a game. They're above that this year at 18 and a half, and here's an easy one down the lane against the Eastern pressure by Jordan Rawls. Came in averaging six, the freshman from Chattanooga. And the biggest lead of the night belongs to Western Kentucky. 59 to 43, 13 20 to go. Brown squares left to the lane from 10. Good. He's putting on an offensive show with 27. Yeah, he's been the offense tonight. They're really struggling to find points from anybody else. With Nick Mayo gone, Jamaro Brown's team as far as points. Anderson's been the only guy to score, but a nine. Six by Hicks, corner right, Justice still hadn't hit one. Offensive rebound put back up and in by Hollingsworth. Well, Hobbs went to the rim instead of going to his man. You have to make body contact to make a block out, and he did not. 61-45, Western, the crowd out of this one now. Brown hunting for a shot, finding it. They may want to play a little defense on Jamaro Brown. He has 29 of Eastern Kentucky's 47. Two away from his career high of 31. Last game out, here's a reach-in foul on Anderson. Got ball, but got a lot of arm. Anderson's third foul. Three fouls on Anderson, three on Hicks, three on Trey King. EKU playing without Houston King for the second game in a row with a knee injury. Well, they could use his offense tonight. Eastern right now in a danger zone. They're getting ready to either get back in this thing or get completely blown out. 61-47 Western with the foul trouble. I'm feeling blowout would be where you would put your money. But they've played toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hilltoppers. Justice passed up a three to Anderson, driving against Anderson. And it was touched out by Anderson of EKU. Lachlan Anderson backing up defensively as Josh Anderson crossed him over. Taylor in for Hobbs right here for Eastern. So it's Taylor, Brown, King, Anderson, and Crookshank for EKU into Williams. And he's traveled for the third time this half. Carson Williams, trouble keeping the sneaker on the court. I thought he got by with another one just a little bit ago, too. He had had two turnovers all season in the first two games. And he has had six turnovers tonight, six of the team's 13. Eight turnovers for Jamaru Brown, but he has 29 points. Crossover dribbles, step back, foot on the line. Good call by the official there. Brown's foot on the line with the new longer line. He equals his career high with 31. Jamaru Brown now 12 of 18 from the field and a travel in backcourt on Hollingsworth as Crookshank, Crookshank and Anderson covered him up and the Hilltoppers beginning to make turnovers. They made 14, EKU 60. Timeout on the court in Richmond. 61. We are down to the 11.43 mark. Eastern Kentucky basketball after the Hilltoppers, who have won points off turnovers 21-14, made their 14th miscue of the day. Crookshank to toss. Hobbs getting his shoulder checked again. Western in a 2-3 zone. Bassey back in in the middle. They throw to Anderson on an unforced turnover off the hands of Anderson. So turnover 17 on Eastern Kentucky again over their average last year where they averaged 14 and a half. This year they're averaging 18.3 and it's going to go above that tonight it appears. Early at 17. Well they got mismatches to go lower inside. Williams goes driving. Dropped the ball, got it back, and put it in as King went sprawling. Good non-call there. Williams, 13. Wearing the same jersey as the great Clem Haskins, 65-67 from Campbellsville.
Kentucky, the first college that Rick Stansberry went to and began to sharpen his basketball knowledge as a player. Haskins, of course, later a coach at Western. Bad pass by Crookshank. Yet another turnover. The other way we run, and then Justice turned it over, dropping it. Getting a little ugly on both ends right now. You know, Western's kind of keeping Eastern in it with their turnovers. This 2-3 zone, uh, they've gone to that to try to keep the ball out of Jamaru's one-on-one uh, ability tonight. He's been able to get his shot off against a lot of pressure, and uh, they're, they're thinking this may change up the momentum Eastern has created. Let's make that officially 17 turnovers on EKU, 16 on WKU. Back to that 2-3 zone for Stan Berry's Hilltoppers. Deep three for a new career high by Brown. No good. Rebound Bassey. Nobody in double figures at rebounding tonight. Williams comes in. alley for another highlight dunk by Charles Bassey as 14. He's had 18 double-doubles in his career. Seven of eight tonight, but... When you're shooting one-footers, you're going to have a high percentage. Brown behind the back loses Justice. Floats fires for a new career high. 33 by Jamaru Brown. He's been electric offensively. Yeah, that was impressive. Right over Bassey. Ten minutes to play. We're three-quarters of the way through. 65-51, Western Kentucky. Nobody sees that the net's up on the uh, basket, so Bassey shoots from 10 and misses, and we're coming the other way. Here is Brown with 33 tonight. Nick Mayo had 40 against Chattanooga, the first since Laboris Jerry for EKU in 2001, and a pass through the line on a bounce dangerously by Anderson to Hicks. Batted away defensively with 13 on the shot clock. Western leading 65 to 51. Anderson had Taylor wide open on that right corner if he didn't see him. Crookshank to toss, but nobody getting open. He's going to throw it way in the backcourt, and Brown will let it bounce and come down with it. Top rebounder in the game for Western, Bassey with six. For EKU, Hicks with six. And a reach-in foul called on Justice. Cameron Justice has struggled to stay defensively when he's been on Brown tonight. Jamar who Brown with a red-hot 13 of 21 shooting night. Three of seven on threes, four of five from the foul line. Eastern's trying to screen the top of this 2-3 zone, get quick ball reversal to the other wing. First foul on Justice. Colonel's miss Houston King, an outside shooter tonight. And again, here's a deep one by Taylor and another air ball. He hadn't even been close on his shots after having a good night the other night. Ty Taylor has scored only one point tonight. And Taylor for the field now 0 for 5, including three threes. What do you have? A total of 20 the other night. I think six threes, Doug, and five or six threes. He has not been able to draw any tonight. Here's Hollingsworth. Won a state championship his junior year at Paul Lawrence Dunbar. We have not seen Michael Moreno at all here in the second half. And now he He's has in just now. come into the game. For Taylor. He can shoot it. If you can get him the ball, playing defense tough on Anderson. Anderson drives around him, and he lost the ball out. Well, he had to step on Moreno, and he was getting ready to throw that one down if he had lost control of it. Just slipped out of his hand. 17 turnovers by each team tonight. It hadn't been pretty here in the second half. Western averages 16 a game, average below 14 last year. Moreno hit four threes at Kentucky in the game now. Crookshank straight away, no good. Moreno had a touch on it. Bassey runs down his seventh rebound, most by any player in the game. Throw it to Williams low to Bassey, dunk it one more time. That backside creep to the goal by Bassey has been tremendous tonight. Western's pounding. They've hedged on ball screens and haven't been able to convert back. 16 point Western lead as we near the eight minute mark. Moreno back to Crookshank. EKU. Not able to find range from three, five of 18. Left side, Crookshank from Hicks. Another one missed. Nothing going. Here come the toppers in transition. Rawls blocked from behind, but Crookshank fouled him. So on Crookshank, his second foul. You go down and look at the shooting for EKU, and outside of Anderson and Brown, there's nothing there 
Western's been a balanced team and they lead by 16. For the basketball from Learfield IMG College. Western leads by 16, matches their biggest lead of the night with 7.49 to go. Four ties, four lead switches. EKU this half from three, one of seven. Rawls will go to the line. 40 to 18 on points in the paint, 17 to six on assists, both to uh, Western's advantage. Here's two for Rawls. First foul shot good, how about him? Yeah, he's had a really nice game. Been a big lift for them. Career high of 10. First double figure game. The freshman from Hamilton Heights Christian Academy in Chattanooga. Got them both. Western Kentucky from the foul line is 12 of 15. Biggest lead now at 18. King back in. Hicks on the baseline. Crookshank can't, can't find him. Can't crack the 2-3 zone when you're one of seven. It doesn't help. And they are really tracking Moreno, the best shooter out there. Brown flings one. No. Three curdles touch it. King's got the rebound, dropped it, chases it down, saves it in. But the Hilltoppers have got it in there running. Four on two. There goes Anderson, knocks down a curdle. They're going to wave it off. Charge taken. The knee, it appeared, ran over the waiting curdle who took it in the noggin, and he's down. So a charge on Anderson. His second, Jeff Carrico, the trainer, who was the trainer at Marshall when A.W. Hamilton played there, will go to check the injured colonel. Well, Anderson took off from just inside the lane there, and uh, he went through with some authority. Brown there taking the charge, gave up his body. No, it's not Brown. It's Crookshank, I believe. Oh, you're right. So Richard Crookshank out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, played at Garden City Community College. And they continue to check him. Anderson was flying in for the dunk. Let's go while we have this injury timeout and look at the scoring. Western Kentucky has three players in double figures. EKU has one. 16 Bassey, three rebounds away from his 19th double-double in game 37 as a topper. 13 for Carson Williams. He has five assists, six turnovers. 12 for Jordan Rawls on perfect shooting, 5 of 5 in 21 minutes. And really, if you ask me who the MVPs were of this game for Western Kentucky, I'd have to go to the bench and go to Anderson and Rawls. I agree. 33 for Jamaro Brown as Crookshank took it around the left eye. And Lewin Anderson was flying in. It almost looked like his knee caught Crookshank there. Yeah, I believe you're right. You know, Eastern got off to a decent start there uh, on the three-point line. They were four of eight to start the game, and right now uh, they've gone one out of their last 11. Yeah, when you go one of 11 and you're trying to catch up and the threes don't fall, you get in trouble. Crookshank up, trying to stop the bleeding. I'm blocked out a little bit from the trainer walking with him, I can't tell. It looks like it's just under the left eye, left side of the face there. You have to admire Crookshank for uh, taking that charge. He's only about six foot tall, and uh, he stood right in there and gave it up for the team. So Brown 33, nobody else in double figures for EKU down by a game high 18. Nine by Anderson on three of four shooting. You take Anderson and Brown out of it, 16 of 25. The rest of the team is 4 of 20 from the field. Moreno, the freshman, to the elbow to King from 13. And there's one of those rare shots by somebody else, first two of the night, for Trey King to go along with three rebounds. Well, he found the weak spot in that 2-3 zone. 69-53, ball tipped away by Brown, picked up by Taylor. He's fouled, he'll go to the line. Brown caused the steal by Taylor. Well, this was a game of huge runs in the first half. Western down two, went on a 7-0 run, went up seven. EKU responded, turning over the Hilltoppers on a 13-1 spurt. 
to take their biggest lead of the game, 21-15, and then Western caught fire. As Taylor hits the first foul shot, scored 17-4 run, morphed into a 28-10 run, including the last 10 points of that run for a 15-point lead. EKU closed it down to six early in the second half on a 10-1 run, but Western righted the ship, and they've been okay since and are in control as Taylor goes one of two from the foul line for his only two points of the night. One in the first half, one in the second. Bassey a rare three, not on target. He's 10 of 23 on the year, and that is a goaltend on Bassey on the scoop of the goal by Jamaru Brown, who now has, in this game, 35 points. We're going to see if Eastern has anything left in the tank and can make a desperation run right here. 6.33 to go. Nick Mayo had 40 in the second game of the year against Chattanooga last year when he scored 35 in the second half. Skip over the defense, and Bassey used all 6 of 11 of his frame to try to keep it in bounds, but it's the 20th turnover on the Hilltoppers. I think Rick Stansberry is going to tell you they were way too sloppy in the second half, even though they lead 69-56. Yeah, neither team will be happy with their turnovers. EKU down 13. Do they have a run in them? King at the elbow. Fans it corner to Ty Taylor. Passes up the three and finds a 15-footer for his first field goal of the night, and it tightens a bit at AC with six minutes to go. Down to 11. It was 18. EKU on a run here. Hollingsworth off to Rawls. Near the timeline, tracked by Taylor, the grad transfer. Now grad transfer to grad transfer. Give and go pretty to Williams. Shifts in the lane, put it in. Use of his body and then banks it in. Carson Williams has 15. Well, they ran a side pick and roll with Williams. And when they reversed the ball, he just kept right on rolling to the basket and was wide open. Really nice execution by Western right there. Carson Williams had 2,967 points at high school, number five all time in Kentucky prep history with nearly 1,700 rebounds. He rattles this foul shot out. Williams had 21 when he played for Northern Kentucky, and they beat EKU at NKU back in 2018. EKU beat Northern on a Nick Mayo game winner last year here at Alumni. Good share of the basketball to the corner, left side, Brown, no good. Trey King rebound, but over the back to Justice, and head coach of the Colonels in year two, A.W. Hamilton, buries his face in press row there on the fifth foul on Trey King, and he has been fouled out for the first time this year, sixth time in 35 games. He fouled out twice against Murray State last year, also against Tennessee Tech, Edwardsville, and Jacksonville State. He's DQ'd here with 5.18 to go. The player he fouled, a much smaller man in Justice at 6-3. And Justice, who came in their leading score at 18.5 a game, got his first point at the 518 mark. Well, they've done a good job spotting up on him. Second one for Justice, rolls off the lip of the rim. Down 14, EKU works it right to left. Round one hands it Taylor. 510 in the game. Moreno up to Brown. Brown backs it away. High post foul line. Anderson fanned it over to Taylor, and he rang up his first three of the night, and he has seven. Can EKU make a rip-roaring comeback in the last eighth of the game? Brown a steal on a bat pass. Justin, he found it. He put it in. And it's 37 for Jamaro Brown. And the Colonels close it within nine. Chance to cut it to eight here as the Hilltoppers have committed a boatload of turnovers tonight, 21 of them. I'll tell you what, everybody had given them up for dead just about a few minutes ago, and now here they are. They're right back in this thing. They were down 69-51. They're on a 12-3 run. Brown bids to make it 13-3, and EKU gets it. And it's a 24-23 Eastern Kentucky advantage. 
on points off turnovers. Full court pressure, crowd back in, adjusted, has got the pass. Alley oops it, Bassey one hands it, gets it into the other hand and jams it. I bet he's had six dunks tonight, I haven't counted them. Yeah, when they beat the pressure, all they gotta do is throw it up to the rim and he's there. Bassey cleans it up, 74-64. Anderson out to Taylor, back to Jamaro, says I want the ball. Inside to Anderson, lean it back out high to Brown, over to Lachlan Anderson. Shifts around Justice, steps to the lane over Bassey. Bounces on the rim twice. Bassey cleans it up for his eighth rebound to go along with 18 points on 9 of 12 shooting. Easter's going 2 3 zone. Well, the Colonels took it from 18 to 8, but Bassey's dunked it to put him up by 10. They spread the court, 10 on the shot clock. Clock, Brown, bodies rolls. Extra share, Justice in the corner, missed it, tried to sell. A foul, didn't get it, rebound Hicks to Brown, takes it around Hollingsworth, dumps it off to Moreno, bad pass. Coming the other way. Turnover EKU there, 19. 40 turnovers in this game. 74-64, Western Kentucky. Well, they had a great opportunity right there, 2 on one Trying to win their 15th, out of the last 16 against EKU. Rawls dribbling on Brown, around him, Hicks challenges, tipped away, another turnover. We've got a bakery shop. They could turn overs here at Alumni. Both teams are in the kitchen with this one. Interesting that both teams have gone zone here the last few minutes. Down to the three minute mark, down 10. Moreno way off, only backboard. Michael Moreno had a good look to cut it to seven and he's 0 for two from three. Well, they can't sit back in the zone. Coach Hamilton calls out for the man to man. And Rick Stansberry wants a timeout. 2.47 to go. Western thought they were in a cakewalk. Eastern Kentucky went on a 13-3 run to get it to 10. Got it to 8. It's a 10 now. We'll have... Well, we tracked Bassey's dunks. He has 18 tonight. Of his six field goals this half, five have been on dunks. He had a dunk in the first half. So of his nine field goals, six have been on dunks, most of them coming off the right side of the rim from into the lane, and EKU has found their 6'11 big guy. Here he is inside. Got around Hicks, but they're going to call a foul on him for hooking around. Well, that's a big call because he went in there with a tomahawk to finish that play. Crookshank. Back into the game with his left cheek Bandage, 74-64, your score after that call by James Duke on Bassey, his third. He played nothing in the last eight plus of the first half, and that's when Western, without him and Hollingsworth on the court, made their run, that 28-10 run. Bassey has been tremendous in the second half. One rebound away from his 19th double-double. But Eastern Kentucky has given it the old college try here. Yeah, and you think uh, the last couple possessions, they had a two-on-one break that they fumbled out of bounds, and then they had a pretty good look at a three there that they didn't even draw iron on. So uh, this could very well be a five-point game at this point. Well, Eastern Kentucky from three, not having a good night, but neither is Western Kentucky. They almost mirror each other. EKU 6 of 23, 26%. WKU a little bit better, less taken. One less hit, five less taken, five of 18, 28%. Rebounding has been plus nine WKU turnovers. Neither coach will be happy. 23 on the toppers, and most of them here in the second half. 19 on EKU, but points off turnovers, just a one-point EKU advantage. Remember, in the A.W. Hamilton era, and now just stretching into year two, EKU is plus 162 and points off turnovers. Now the difference tonight is in the paint. Western holds 44 to 24 advantage. You can follow the Colonels at home or on the road by listening to our call on 100.7 FM, streaming live at EKUsports.com and on the TuneIn app by asking for WCYO, Eastern Kentucky back home, second D, non-D1 game against Alice Lloyd on Tuesday. Hilltoppers go to the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas to 
participate in the 18 Paradise Jam. They'll play Friday against Bowling Green. Taylor a three, missed it front rim. Another miss for Eastern Kentucky from deep. That's a big possession right there, almost a must possession. They've only hit two threes in this half. Six for the game, they're 25%. After having a 43% three-point shooting night and opening night, that would have cut it to seven. Two minutes to go, toppers by 10. And spreading the court here for their head coach, Rick Stansberry. Anderson drives around Anderson. And Anderson misses it, rebound Hicks, and he's fouled. No, I think they got Anderson from coming inbounds too soon, or did they call a foul too? Called a foul on Bassey. Okay. That's one his. One referee had uh, Anderson coming back in too soon, but I didn't see the foul. 15 turnovers on Western Kentucky this half. Had eight at halftime, but it appears they'll survive. 1.51 to go. Rick Stansberry questioning the call as he saw what you saw. One referee, one thing. Craig Murley, the crew chief, another. That will allow Eastern Kentucky to try to slice into the 10-point deficit with a minute 51 to go. Crookshank to the line. He has not scored tonight. Four turnovers, one assist, one steal. 0 for 3 from the field. 3 of 5 from the foul line on the year. 1 and 1, and he hit it. Left-hander out of Milwaukee. Big free throw right here, not only to cut the lead down more for Eastern to set up their press. Colonels were down 18, 69, 51. It's 74, 65 now with a minute 51 to go as it dwarfs down to an eight-point lead. Full court pressure, Hollingsworth pump faking against Crookshack. Across the timeline with five to spare to Rawls. Dangerous pass to Anderson down the lane. Hicks challenges Anderson to the line. Six for six coming into this game. Anderson, after missing his first, has hit six of his last seven, six of eight. So he's 12 of 14 on the year. Entered this game in 59 games as a 68% foul shooter. Well, Hicks was not going to let Anderson throw that one down, and uh, Anderson kind of took exception to the uh, extent of the foul there. Fourth foul on Hicks. King is already fouled out. 14 fouls on WKU, 18 on EKU, and Anderson trying to put some ice on this one. Steam up eight, and he does. I look down, and I put the circle and then color it in, and it's just a bunch of dots for Anderson. He's been to the foul line now. This will be his 10th and the team's 20th. He's had half of their 20 foul shots. And he's hit all but two of them. He's a slasher and able to get to the rim, and that's where he's drawn his contact. 33rd double-figure game with Savage out with an ankle injury, we were told, now in street clothes. Brown drives. Been quiet of late. Contact, no call, coming the other way. Well, there was contact on that shot. 10-point Western lead, 76-66. Brown stays at 37 points. Western putting it on ice, 15 to shoot. Eastern Kentucky not fouling. No foul. They've got a trap on Justice, tied him up. They said verticality rule on Brown, even though he had his hands on the basketball. You know, it, wrong person to send to the line, too, if you're Eastern. It'll be a one-on-one -one here for Cameron Justice. He has not had a good night. He came in averaging 18 and a half, had 22 in the win over Austin P. Justice is 0 for 5, all on three-pointers, one and two from the foul line, and he hits this one. When you hit them like Anderson and Justice have in the last two minutes of the game, they mean a little bit more, don't they, Doug? They do. They've kept that cushion out there. Eastern's trying to crawl back in it. Western just keeps... Keeping them at bay. Western had won 13 in a row against EKU before losing here in Stansbury's first year. Justice hits the second. They'll have won 15 of 16 in this series, beating number 159. Go to 115 and 44 against Eastern. Crookshank, high arching three, hits the back iron. Taylor the rebound, follow a 15 footer. Goodbye, Taylor. Tie bout EKU. That's their last. Taylor has scored eight of his nine here of late after a slow start. 
as Eastern Kentucky with 47 seconds to go cuts it back down to a 10 point game. Western Kentucky of course a glorious tradition in 101 years of basketball. This will be their 1798th win number 16 on the win list of course Kentucky just up the road number one 66 percent winning percentage number eight one two three and four are Kentucky Carolina and Duke in Kansas and Western Kentucky working on its what could be its 46th 20 win season they're number 17 in that category Kentucky is number one Louisville is number six Hilltoppers have been to 23 NCAAs got to that final four finished third in 71 14 NITs including a runner-up in 1942 full court pressure EKU wanted to travel didn't get it in AW Hamilton begging for a turn for a technical there I don't think he's happy with the stripes and whistles tonight the way he's been on the sideline yeah, ten he... point game Here's Hollingsworth, Euros through the lane, in and out, rebound, Bassey blocked by Hicks. Here comes Taylor, Justice all over him, no reason for the Hilltoppers to foul up 10 with 16 to go. For 40 points, Brown banks it in! And he ties Nick Mayo's 40-point effort of last year. 78-71. Thank you. He's got 41 now, Yeah, Greg. he does. He passes Nick Mayo and equals what Laboris Jerry had in 2001 in the last game of his career in a game at Eastern Illinois in Charleston. So it's the highest Colonel point total in 18 years, actually 19 seasons. Wow, he's put on a show for sure tonight. And the foul shot no good by Anderson with 11 seconds to go. No fight. You thought in the Colonels down 18, they've shown a good comeback. They're down seven as Bassey leaves. And by the way, with those six dunks tonight, 18 points, 12 rebounds, his 19th double-double in what surely will be his last season of two on the hill at WKU. If you listen to the experts, he's a first-rounder, maybe even a lottery pick. Anderson got the second eight-point lead for them. 11 by Anderson off the bench. He's been big, especially with the injury to Savage. Brown picks it up, and he touched it twice, and now they're going to stop the play. They may have started the clock prematurely. So they're going to make him take it out again. Western Kentucky will go 3-0 for the first time since they went to the Sweet 16 in 2008. And it'll be all against OBC teams with Belmont still to play. From 28, in and out for 44. Rebound, Taylor, his shot blocked with three seconds to go. And Western Kentucky has come to Bowling Green and defeated Eastern Kentucky in the cross-state battle. And one that had a little bit of everything in it here today at Alumni Coliseum. For analyst Doug Sally, I'm Greg Stottlemyer from here in Richmond, where the Apollos Pizza final score is Western Kentucky 79, Eastern Kentucky 71. Stay with us. The Kentucky Bank postgame show is next.